Salamat po. Brother Justice uh, Raul Victorino, our Dean of the College of Law. Alam mo, galing sa kanyang uh, introduction, I'm very honored and, uh, and I'm very honored and very happy na siya po nag-introduce sa akin. Sikat po yan sa amin sa Senado. Of course, to the Board of Trustees, na nandito po na yung umaga, to Dr. Junifen Gawan, our President of the University, to all our Vice Presidents and Associate Vice President, to our Deans, Directors, Faculty and Staff, Graduating Class that are all here today, to your family and to your friends. Magandang magandang umaga po sa inyo lahat ng buntag sa atong tanan. Good morning po. Good morning. Good morning everyone. What a wonderful and beautiful day. First of all, I'd like to give you a little trivia. Yung aking kuya na si Joey na naging congressman din po ng naming distrito sa Bukidnon for three terms also studied in in your school in TCU, Philippine Christian University. Tatlong taon po siya. At uh, ang dami niya mga fun memories doon sa inyong uh, skwanahan po, uh, Mr. President. This was in the 80s. 80s. Kaya hindi na siguro maalala ng ibang teachers natin. But uh, thank you for inviting me to this celebration of a very important milestone in your lives. I am truly deeply honored. You have just finished a grueling intellectual marathon. This is especially true for those of you who have had to juggle your classes alongside your jobs and a multitude of responsibilities. I was told that today's graduation was for postgraduate studies. So, hindi po kayo merely mga estudyante. Marami po sa inyo ay mga tatay, nanay, at uh, nagtatrabaho na po sa iba't ibang negosyo. Hanga ko sa inyong lahat, lalo na sa mga kinayang pagsabay-sabayin, ang pagsuporta sa pamilya, pagkayod sa trabaho, at pagtatapos ng postgrad. That you stand here today is a testament, not only to your smarts, but also to the strength of your spirit. And although most of you, or most of the credit, rightly goes to all of you, the graduates, you cannot, it, what cannot be denied rather is that there is also a universe of support that help you along the way. So take a moment to thank your families, your parents, and your friends, all the people who freely share their time and resources to help you get where you are today. Palakpakan po natin natin yung mga familia at mga kaibigan na tumulong po sa inyong lahat. Whether the money was given to you and helped, did help you through your financial troubles, laptops loan, naghiram po kayo ng laptop, or shoulders offered to cry on, lalo na pagbagsak kayo sa exam, or busted kayo ng sota or jowa nyo. <laughs> and thank, of course, the PCU faculty who gave you the tools you need to become problem solvers, critical thinkers, brave innovators, and compassionate individuals ready to make this world a better place. Palapakal po natin sila one last time. Ang tagumpay ninyo ay tagumpay rin ng ating mga guro at syempre ng buong PCU community. Marami po dito nag-graduate, taga-Senate. Meron din po nag-graduate dito, taga-Red Cross. Saan ba si Mamdi? Kaibigan ko. Inext na ako kaninang umaga. Your achievements are truly admirable given the times that we find ourselves in. Especially the pandemic that shook our foundations and challenge us all to, re to um, relearn how to navigate this new world. Even the brightest and most accomplished among us had become students once again, humbled by the enormity of COVID's impact. Of course, as master degree holders, as doctors, as soon-to-be lawyers, you know very well the value of being constantly open to learning. You know that this graduation is not a finish line, but the beginning of learning without end. 
of innovation without pause, of curiosity which shall never be satisfied. Ibig sabihin, although the title is a commencement exercise, hindi ito pagtatapos. It is with this humility of a student that you must always carry. Even as you now have the well-earned privilege of putting an MA, a PhD, and eventually an attorney around your names. Your postgraduate degrees set you apart from most of our countrymen, marking all of you as exceptional thinkers. But your education is worth more than these honorifics, more than a line in your curriculum vitae as you gun for our career in advancement. What makes these degrees more meaningful is how they elevate you as public intellectuals, as leaders of your community, as agents of dynamism, and as drivers of progress. Passion, my dear friends, led you here. Your passion for your fields of interest in law, education, medicine, in social work, in technology, in philosophy, in business, and so on. This passion powered you through the years of studies and brought you here this day. Now I ask you, ito ay napakalaga, now I ask you to take that passion and pair it with compassion. Take that passion and pair it with compassion. Use your knowledge and expertise not only for yourselves, but for others. You have been blessed with a great education here in PCU. And now it is your turn to give your best back to the country. Napakagaling na ngayong August 24, today, ang inyong graduation is a day steep in history. Baka hindi po nyo nalalaman ito. Today marks the 127th anniversary of the start of the 1990s, the 18 rather, 1896 revolution. So today, as we celebrate your graduation, we also remember the heroes who died for our country. Not only the larger life figures like Jose Rizal or Andres Bonifacio, but also the countless and nameless heroes who are lost to history but whose courage is the soil on which our land is built. We honor them by continuing the work that they started, that is, the work towards a truly liberated, liberated nation and a Filipino people free from the shackles of hunger, poverty, and injustice. Let us not dishonor the sacrifice of our heroes by being unpatriotic and turning our back on our country and our people when they need us the most, as our fisherfolk, Coast Guard, and Navy do, as they are being bullied by more powerful aggressors out in the West Philippine Sea, as well as the victims of Typhoon Egai do, up in Bulacan surviving the floods, or the millions of underpaid and overworked work laborers do, all across the country and the world. I truly believe that as PCU graduates, you are perfectly equipped to take this burden up and lead the country towards a better future. A future that is shaped by faith in God, in our country, in our people. It is this faith that gives us meaning and direction, purpose on who we are and what we do. So today, look at your accomplishments, my dear graduates, and ask yourself, what did you do for it, and what will you use it for? My dear friends, this year marks as well my 25 years since I first entered public service. Growing up, pinanood ko po ang aking tatay, devoting himself to serving the people in our hometown, in our home province. Nakita ko yung pagod niya sa araw-araw ng mga meeting, mga programa, at paghahanap ng kanyang ng solusyon no? sa mga constituents niya. He listened to every single one of them, no matter how long it took 
and how tiring it got. Pero sa likod ng pagod, nakita ko rin ang saya niya tuwing makakatulong siya sa kanya mga kapwa constituents, kapwa kap kababayan at usap bisaya mga silingan, mga kapitbahay na nabigyan po ng solusyon ang kanilang mga problema. That to me is faith in action. To believe so thoroughly in the right of people to lead a decent life. In dissenting pamumuhay and a happy life that you devote yourself to helping them achieve it. Faith is to know that God lives to us all, giving us the strength and ability to carry out His mission of mercy and compassion. Faith is to see suffering and to know that we have a duty to ease their burden. My faith has called me to a life of public service, and I am hopeful that many of you will take up after us in government, injecting our offices and agencies with your fresh insight and innovation. Lagi ko po itong sinasabi that government needs new blood, new perspectives. That is the only way that government will keep on being relevant and responsive to the times. Pero siyempre, hindi lang, hindi lang naman servisyo publiko ang paraan na paglilingkod sa Diyos, bayan at sambayanan. Many of you will go to the great careers in science and technology where you will have the power to create an ethical and sustainable future for all. We must, or we trust, that you will create a future that enhances rather than replaces the role of humanity in society. Many of you will go into the business sector where you will have the opportunity to create jobs for our people and contribute to the development of our communities. I only ask that you be agents of progress and not just for profit. As you might know, I have been advocating for a legislated minimum wage hike in the Senate para itaas ang sahod ng ating mga kababayan. And I'm counting on you to be our partners in creating better conditions for our workers and giving them their fair share so that they can have a decent life, dissenting pamumuhay. To our educators and social workers, be the best teachers and protectors of our children. Help them grow not only into intelligent individuals, but caring and compassionate as well. To the future lawyers in this room, can I ask you to raise your hands, those who graduate in the class of the, the uh, College of Law? See you in the guide. Fantastic, all in front of me. To the future lawyers in this room, we are counting on you to be the best defenders of truth and justice for our country and for our people. Take, for instance, what is happening now in the West Philippine Sea, where the Chinese government has continually and illegally encroached upon our waters and intimidated our Navy, our Coast Guard, and our fisher folk, going as far as firing water cannons at them without provocation. This despite the 2016 Permanent Port of Arbitration Award that found China to be in violation of our rights in our exclusive economic zone. We cannot just sit down and watch as they close in on us and openly respect our sovereignty. This is why we in the Senate have been banging the drum and clanging on the bell on the need to defend our sovereign rights. Passing countless of resolutions in defense of our Navy, our Coast Guard, and our Fisher Folk. We, but, my dear colleagues, we cannot do it alone. We need the expertise of our brilliant legal minds, those in front of me today, to help, help us give shape to our anger as we take this conflict away from the seas, away from the seas, and into the sphere of law. We need a new generation of impassioned patriots across all fields to come together, harness their skills and knowledge, and defend our country and our people to the best of their ability. We need you all to rise to the challenges we face today. As experts in your field, we look to you to lead with innovation, and as PCU graduates, with a strong sense of faith, empathy, and compassion. 
We look, we look to you to lead with your hearts as much as with your minds. And it is in this note that I will end my speech by saying the fact is, I have nothing more to add to what the teachers of this great school have already taught you and what you have learned yourself. What I can only say is to send you off or to send you off today is to reassure you that you have the guts and the grit not only to survive and prosper but to be a force of what is right and what is good. Remember what I said earlier, use your, use your passion and pair it with compassion. And use your knowledge not only for yourself, but also for others. Believe in yourself. Kapit lang at lumaban. Para sa Diyos, para sa tama, para sa bayan. Mabuhay po kayong lahat. Congratulations to the graduates of Philippine Christian University. Mabuhay po.